Good morning. It is Monday and I am really bad at vlogging. I don't think I vlogged last week. I don't really remember. Uh, and I haven't uploaded a vlog for like the last two weeks. <laughs> and I don't know why I'm going in the kitchen when the washer is going. That's like the wrong place to go. I guess I'll go in my room for a minute where it's quieter and darker, but whatever. It's Monday, like I said, and I'm probably going to go out to the barn in a little bit. I have to drop off Navigator's supplement. Just got here in the mail the other day. Um, but before I do that, I'm finally going to participate in the uh, Tuesday where we bring snacks and stuff to work. Like, finally going to do it. I made a plan and got a thing to bake so that I can do it. And I have to do it today, and I really need to do it, like, this morning. It's 10.45, so it's not really morning. But I have to do it this morning before I do anything else because I need to let it have time to cool and get in the fridge. Basically, I'm going to bake some lemon bars. <laughs> And once they're cool, I'm going to put them in the fridge and go to the barn. So that's the plan. Can you even hear me over the dishwasher? These are the lemon bars I got. I don't even know if these are good, but this is what Target had. This was the only lemon bar mix that they had. And yeah, I know I could have like gotten or like done a recipe from scratch, but <laughs> I didn't give myself enough time to do that. So this is what we're making. I'll have to let you know how they are. And also look at this. I get to use my 8x8 pan. I've never gotten to use this yet. This was a... Uh, wedding gift. Isn't it pretty? I like it. So I'm going to use that. Put that in it. Yeah. Hi. What? Hi. Aww. Alright, so the lemon bars are done. Um, I'm probably going to dust them with powdered sugar like later. Maybe. I don't know. But I think they're done. They look a little light in the middle still, but the edges are getting really dark, so I don't know. I think they're done. <laughs> and it's just now 12, 10, and I need to get ready to go. I want to go ride, and I think I have enough time. Oh, wow, that probably still needs to cool for a little bit longer. How hot is it? Yeah, that needs to cool for a while. I guess I can get dressed and get everything ready so that I'm ready to go. As soon as it's done. All right, I am all dressed, heading out to the barn. It's 12:40, so it's later than I wanted. I probably won't get there until like 1:10. I just don't know if I'll have time to ride, and I don't. I feel stressful about all of it right now, but I'm going. We'll see how it is when I get there. What, it, you know, how much time I feel like I have. But I need to drop off a supplement, so that's what we're doing first. All right, there's the biotin. I'm gonna leave that in the feed room and then I'm gonna go grab Mr. Nav. Hello, thank you for coming to the fence. You brought everybody with you. Hi, cutie. Get you all cleaned up, huh? Yeah. Good morning. It's Wednesday. I just had a writing lesson. It is 11.19. I've been up for a while. I've been out and about doing things. Can you believe it? I'm not still in pajamas. And right now I'm at Tom Thumb. I'm going to get some groceries. So, yeah. And also some coffee. Oh, I just found being all cute. Two little kitties. I'm exposing John for not making his side of the bed, apparently. Aww. She's so nice. You smelling me? I probably smell like horses still. Hi. Aww, little baby. So cute. Do I offend? Weirdo. Oh, I'm not gonna left. Okay, I'm gonna take a shower. Oops. And then I need to eat some lunch. It's not even that late. It's it's just now noon. Like this never happens. I'm on a roll today. All right, so I'm finally gonna do it. I'm finally going to start my book binding project for the wedding cards. Got my supplies out, everything I need for now at least. Also, I didn't notice this when I got this ruler, but isn't that cute? Today I will create something beautiful. 
I also probably didn't need to buy this ruler, but the ruler I have is so, um, it's in rough shape. So this one I thought would be nice and it's metal and yeah, anyway. I made my little template. Can you see? Yeah, it was blurry. Made my little template of my smallest card. And um, this is what I'm gonna use as a guide for where to put punch holes into all of the other cards. This was my smallest card. It was about five and a half inches, which is a little small, but I don't know. I think it'll be fine. I'm also, I will put a link to the tutorial I'm doing as I'm not gonna like show the entire process, but <laughs> I'm following a tutorial. And uh, I'll, I'll link to that. But anyway, this is the first step is making my little template because now I'm gonna have to punch holes. Excuse me, you're being so disruptive. No, I'm trying to eat some trash from the ruler. Anyway, I have to punch these holes, these four holes in every single card. And some of these cards will, will require a little bit of trimming and it'll just be, it'll be a while. <laughs> And then the next part is sewing, which will be even more. But um, I'm hoping to just at least punch the holes and then maybe start the sewing. So yeah, you are not being very helpful. Oh my gosh, there's more craft trash. I need to throw this all the way. And over here, I've got like all my other supplies that I haven't needed to get out yet. That'll be for later. Weirdo. All right, so just to show, those the holes are now punched. You can barely see them. If I hold them up to the light, you can see those four holes. Those are all I need to do, but I have to do it on every single, um, oops, that was the dishwasher, every single card. So it'll take a while. I was just using a needle. The tutorial recommended, recommended using an awl, but I don't have one of those, and I'm gonna have to use a needle to thread it anyway, so I figured that'll be fine. But yeah, one down. A lot to go. <laughs> all right, so I got holes punched in all of the cards and whoops, it took me about an hour and a half to do all of these. And there goes my stack. <laughs> um, but yeah, it took a while and that was not even the time consuming part. The time consuming part of this little project is going to be actually sewing the cards into the binding. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep working on it. I'll do a little bit more of it right now. But yeah, that took a while. And um, I've been watching a uh, Nancy Drew like walkthrough, not a walkthrough, playthrough. And also, oh, I can show something. I've been using, hold on. So I had a couple cards that had like a little ribbon sort of thing that, you know, attached into the side of the card like that. And to get these cards to sew in properly, these ones also had like, if you turned it over, it had a little like maybe one sixteenth of an inch or less sticking out. And I had to trim that off to make it lay flat in the book. But that, you know, that got this to be unattached. So I just used a little Mod Podge to glue that back in. And it seems to work. I had to, only had to do that on a couple, but um, it seemed like it worked fine. So, yeah. This is where we're at after like three and a half hours of work. I don't think I even have half of them done. I might be close to half, but I'm kind of starting to worry that they will not all fit on one book. <sighs> I was wanting to just put them on one, but I don't know if that will. But it's not that hard, and once you get into a groove, it's like gets pretty easy, but it took a while to start. The, sh the tutorial I'm following said if your stack of cards is more than three inches, you should split it. My stack is two and a half inches, so I thought it could go into one, but I guess we'll just have to see. Maybe I could take out like the bridal shower cards and make them their own thing, but yeah. Also, this is after a break. John got home a while ago. We had dinner, we had enchiladas, and now we're just kind of watching TV and I just started doing this again. It's all done. It is all bound together and I went a little bit more than I should have on this end. So, whoops, I'm losing a piece of the canvas. Oh my gosh. So I think what I'm going to do tomorrow is probably just sew like another inch strip across so that it's long enough and it's reinforced when I put it all together but I did it I sewed the cards together and honestly it didn't turn out too bad I don't I can't pick it up one-handed hold on like it is a little wobbly you can see it kind of like shifts a little and so I can see why they the tutorial was recommending like breaking something like this into two because it probably should have been broken into two how is it like it comes to three inches now, so 
But you know what? I think it'll be fine. I don't know. I'm excited. I'm glad I was able to do it. So, yeah. I'm going to work some more on that tomorrow, but I'm ready to go to bed. It's not that late, but I am tired. So, tomorrow will be cover day. We'll see how that goes. I am about to go work out for the first time in weeks. Literally weeks. <sighs> All right, so I'm back. I'm sitting on the floor at the coffee table because I'm about to work some more on my book of cards. I was gonna call it a book stack. No, it's a stack of cards that I'm making into a book. But anyway, I'm on to the next step. Everything is sewn together. So it is time to start whatever the next process is. And I need to pull up the tutorial and find out. So I've got the end leaves on. These will be like, this will be the part that attaches to the back cover. And then this will be like the page in between. And yeah, you can kind of see that in there, but there's not a lot I can do about that. Oh, and this is, was an envelope that was made for us. And I'm going to use it as a pocket to keep like the tiniest cards. But anyway, it is time to start on the cover, I think. Ooh, I'm getting excited. Like it's going to come together really nicely, I think. But right now it's still kind of just like, oh no, it's looking sketchy. But yeah, that's where we're at. And I'll update with more to come. Okay, so the actual book board is cut now, and um, the pieces I got were, I had, I got two pieces that were eight and a half by 11, and they weren't big enough for me to make the spine of this book, because this book is going to be giant. So, I did these ones with the chipboard, and then I used the back of a sketchbook for this, which is just about the same thickness. It might be a tiny bit thinner, but I think it will work. It's pretty sturdy. It's sturdier than cardboard, so that's where we're at. There is the giant book. And I'm just about to open up my computer and check for the next step, but I'm pretty sure the next thing is uh, the cover. So we are getting closer and closer. <laughs> All right, I've got my paper and the book cover parts laid out. This paper is uh, just white with little gold dots. I just wanted something simple and kind of wedding-ish, so that's what we went with. I need about 20 inches long and then uh, 11 inches tall according to my measurements that I made, so hopefully that's right. And uh, I am using little paint palettes to keep this paper down because it wants to roll up really badly. But yes, I'm going to measure and then I'm going to cut and then we're getting close to the part where I get to glue some things down. I'm so excited, like this is going pretty well. Once it gets all assembled, I don't know how I'll feel, but right now I'm like really excited about it. So, the pieces of chipboard are glued down and I'm holding them in place with candles to try and like weigh them down so they dry flat um, and like a heavy book. <laughs> so hopefully that'll go all right. And then I'm going to start folding up the, um, like these, this bottom part will fold over and this side parts will fold over. So I'm going to do that next <sighs> after that dries, but it is going well. The living room is kind of a wreck. I've got stuff everywhere. Um, <laughs> cats are kind of ready for dinner. And in the meantime, while this is sitting, I'm going to change the sheets on the bed. Oh my gosh, do you see that dust bunny? Ew. Change the sheets on the bed and working on a little bit of laundry. So I'm not being totally lazy and like, you know, crafty. I'm working on things. All right, here we are. I'm about to put glue on this canvas spine and put it into the book. We are like at the end steps of this thing and I am a little nervous because this is bigger than the tutorial recommends, but we're going for it. We are going for it. Oh my gosh. I can't wait. I'm so scared. <sighs> the book is drying. Like it's totally drying. I'm weighing down the covers with these weighted heavy books and stuff. And it's done and I'm so excited to see how it looks when I finally can like sit it up like a little book. Cats are going crazy, Ugh, but it's been so much work and I'm so happy that it's like all come together and it's looking really good and yeah, that's pretty much it. I will show it when it's finally done. All right, you guys, I did it. I bound all my cards into a book and I am so proud. And yes, I was doing a little photo shoot. It's going to go on Instagram later, but like it turned out so cool. Like it's a straight up book. It's an actual book and... Uh, Oh my gosh, I'm just so proud of it. And I feel so much more accomplished like than if I had just went and put these all into a three-ring binder like I initially planned. Just doing this whole process 
really made me feel like I have accomplished something really cool. Um, so yeah, look at that. It's just so neat. Oh my gosh, it's just so neat. <sighs> and I've got the little ribbon where you can like tie it when it's just on display or you can open it like that and you better not be looking at those ribbons. That is not for you. Also, can you see? I need to vacuum. But anyway, okay, hold on. Okay, so, okay, yeah, it's a little wrinkled on the front. The paper, I should have put, and I, I if I ever do this again, I know better, but um, I painted the glue directly onto the paper and then stuck the chipboard in there. I should have painted the chipboard and then sat it on the paper because I think that's partly why it's got these wrinkles. But even with that, I still am really happy with it. And you can open it, and there's, like, an inside cover. Whoa, hello. So there's like an inside cover and then you get into the cards and it just straight up looks like a book because it is a book and you can open the card and read the letter and then move on to the next one and like this is one that I had to cut the ribbon off there but it looks totally fine. Um, this one's cool because it's a homemade card and it's a pop-up. Whoops. But yeah, some of the ones in the middle, I think I might have sewn them a little too tight because it's kind of hard to flatten it but I wonder if it will sort of settle you know, the more times I look through it, but you can see, you can like open the card, read the message, keep on going. It's just so cool how it turned out. And then at the very back, this was an envelope that someone gave and it was handmade. So I kept it and I cut a little hole in the back and these cards were too small to sew in. So I just slipped them in there. And then that's like our back page, but isn't, whoops, isn't that just so cool it just turned out so well and I will definitely put a link to the tutorial in the box of this video because this is something that I if I had been like if I had planned it better I could have made a tutorial video but I don't think I would have done it justice um so definitely check out the page that I saw this on the blog but yeah so cool so happy with it I'm gonna go post it on Instagram now and uh <laughs> yeah all right I'm here John's here right there and I'm going to end the vlog, but first, we have to do something important. We have to do a taste test of the orange vanilla Coke. So, that's what we're going to do before the vlog is over. What you is it? You definitely smell the orange. Does it smell like vanilla? And vanilla, yeah. And? Mm. What does it taste like? Like orange ice cream. Like orange sherbet? Yeah, yeah, that's, I think that's what I would call it. <laughs> Do you want to say anything else? Yeah, I'm going to go with orange sherbet. <laughs> I'm scared. You're rolling. I can, it tastes like orange Coke. Any other reactions? It was kind of good. Yeah, it wasn't bad. <laughs> we'll probably buy it again. Anyway, I'm going to end the vlog now. And as a special bonus, here's Margo. Margo, you're on the vlog. Margo, say thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.